Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a big warm welcome for the first time. I hope you'll stick around, subscribe, leave me a little comment, join in with the little Cockney Craft family. Right, so today I'm going to jump right in. We're going to work on some ephemera and I'm using Jamie's sold, um, Elephant Spirit kit from his shop soul spirit designs uk i will leave the link down below it's his first ever kit and it really matches mine well like this is some of the ephemera from mine and it just it's perfect you he, he just thought he'd try it while he was watching me bored <laughs> getting bored because he's just watching me doing things and trying to put a kit together and um he thought we'd have a go and it turns out really lovely he's working on another one right now this is his first one called elephant spirit because he loves elephants just as much as i do so i'm going to jump right in i hope everybody is well right one more minute first of all i want a couple of journaling cards that are roughly the same size oh, yeah. um yeah they're pretty much the same size um, and I'm going to, they need backing and that, they're very flimsy at the minute. Um, I want to back them but I also want to join them together. So they'll sit in a pocket and either open out like that for journaling or I'm thinking like that for a change. I haven't done that for a while. So yeah, we'll do this job first. So yeah, I hope everybody is well and happy and as content as can be. It um I had a lovely birthday by the way, so thank you everybody for your really kind wishes on Facebook page and Instagram and whatnot. It was lovely. It really it, oh, it just brings your heart joy when there's such lovely people in the world saying all lots of lovely things it, um i should have rounded them after i'd mounted them really shouldn't i but we all live life thinking what we should have done or could have done <laughs> so yeah i'm just going to grab a bit of paper to back them with i've got some mental ones in it that's just plain oh i've got some mental ones in here though where i went a bit crazy with the um alcohol inks but i love them uh let's see mm. i'll use that i love it i'm not sure what side i think i want this kind of patterny bit uh yep yeah, i'll get that and a bit of this in I could go there if I wanted more of that kind of shape. Yeah, I could go up to the ends and then I've got a bit of that on the back of that one. And I'll probably back the other one with this bit down here. So, I'll just use a glue stick for that. So yeah, I had a lovely birthday, thank you very much. For everyone that did send me lovely wishes and that. Um, yeah, we had a lovely Chinese meal. Um, and where I live now, oh, I'm so lucky, The um, our local one, where I live now, has got a complete vegan menu, which, oh, it was gorgeous, I had mixed vegetables, um, Hong Kong style, vegan um, vegetables, Hong Kong style, uh, it was to die for. It really was. I ate the leftovers <laughs> the next day. Not, no, not the next day. Because Jamie come and got me. And um, I was at ease overnight. And so it, and the next day, and then he brought me home. And my daughter was like, oh, surely, obviously they'd been in the fridge. But she was like, surely you're not going to eat them. I said, it's only been in there. It from Thursday night when we ordered it and this was Saturday lunchtime. I was like, no, I'm eating that, it's vegetables, it's not like meat. And oh it was all just so lovely. So yeah, I was well lucky to have that. But um right, where am I putting this one? Right 
bottle of that. That's nice and orangey there. We've got that. Yeah. I'm going to back this one here. So, yeah. Gorgeous meal with my family and that. And then over the weekend, um, both my daughters stayed with my grandchildren. And, yeah, it was absolutely lovely. So, I really enjoyed myself. And, yeah, it was made even better by all the lovely kind wishes that I received. It really was beautiful. So, yeah, that was me over the weekend and that. And, um, I had a lovely time. I got some wonderful presents. Um, Crafty-wise, I've got some fairy um, pattern dies in the shapes of fairies in various positions. And because my storage boxes where I keep my ribbon are bursting at the seams, I've got a new set of vintage looking suitcases. This one, and then this one, and they've got like the leathery look handles and that. And then this little one, isn't that a beautiful set? Oh, I don't know if that's the light, it's a bit weird. Just gorgeous. Oh, they're so lovely. My son bought me them. And then I had those other really lovely presents from the kids and that. It was lovely. So I've got a few things with Nan or Nana on. And I've got a lovely necklace and it's got a bird hanging from it. From my two of my grandchildren. And with the card in it, I've cut it out because I'm going to put it in my journal. It says, Grandmother, thanks for taking me under your wing and teaching me how to fly. Isn't that just beautiful? So, so that was in the packaging. And I said to my daughter, quick, don't throw that away. I'm using that in a journal. But, um, and she thought I meant in like a journal making for someone else. She went, what, really? I said, not one to go elsewhere. In my own one, you loon. I said, things like that. And uh, sort of things you keep forever, aren't they? So, yeah, it was lovely. But, um, yeah, I still don't feel any other than I felt the day before, so. <laughs> so, it, 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 it doesn't really matter how old you are, does it, really? But, yeah, I was thinking, where on earth has the time gone? Jamie got me a really funny card about how old I am. And it said things like, when you were growing up, a mouse was some, something that ate cheese. <laughs> and all these, like, different things. Um, like, you had to go and knock for your mates or whatnot, and no one had a mobile phone and all these things. But it was all said in a funny way that I can't remember. <laughs> so, right, let's grab um, a little... Thingy. Um, oh, I've got to stand up a sec. My chair, that's it. My chair had just gone all little on me for no reason. Right, I'll see if I can think now with these. That's easier, yeah. I love this colour, this wild honey. I ordered it when I was starting my bee, first bee journal earlier on in the year. And yeah, I just love it. It looks like it's going to be bright orange when you look at it. But then when you use it, it's really lovely. I just fell in love with it. I'm getting loads of it on here though, haven't I? Mm. So yeah, I hope everyone has been well, oh, and that, I don't know, like it seemed to be, we was all coming out of lockdown, here, there and everywhere, and um, the numbers of people getting it and like being admitted to hospital is now higher than it was when they put us all on lockdown in the first place. So a lot of areas here in the UK... And I think in other parts of Europe as well, I don't know about the States, have been put again back onto lockdown. And are, at the minute, we're not. We've just got the normal 
nationwide rules that apply. But um, I can see it changing before long because, um, yeah, there's more and more people testing positive or being admitted to hospital. It's awful, really. I do feel sorry for everybody. Yeah, let's um, grab that. Now. And right. Oh that do I'll just pop that to one side though for a minute. I might want that again in a sec. Right, but I have got two gorgeous, gorgeous images now. So yeah, I was thinking maybe yeah, connect to them like that. And then we've got some nice journaling space on here. I was thinking though, getting a bit of book page. Um, oh, actually, I need to start messing about dying book page and that. I've got this um, folder full of bits and bobs from when I was dying, which only seems like a couple of weeks ago when we had like really brilliant sunshine and I was dying papers like mad. And then this one was going to be bound into a book. The other bit had Buddha on, but I've used it elsewhere now. Because I made a tear right like where it was going to be the spine. And I thought, oh, I've weakened it now. I've put two holes in it, probably with my nails or something. And so I thought, I can't bind it in because I'm not going to trust that to hold now. So I cut off the Buddha bit and used it elsewhere. I've still got these lovely bits that are... Got lovely napkin on. And I was looking, thinking maybe near the corner. Oh, let's do a little bit of tearing. Let me read that. Oops. Right. And yeah, let's see. Um, I might have to just. Oh, I don't want to lose too much of that pattern, so I'll just get a bit on. Oh, that's perfect, it just ripped on it. And let's see. Oh, right, I've torn it like that, but what I thought now, freehand, tearing it down. And more off like that. Maybe something like that just in the corner so you can journal on it. But like there's just a little bit of something lovely over there like that. Yeah, like that. Um, and like that. I think maybe a bit greeny. Sorry if I've gone all weird. Oh no. Actually, there's quite a bit of pink on there. I'm going to use this pink raspberry because it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Um, just making it just a little bit unusual. Not that this isn't unusual <laughs> on its own because there's like loads of colour that I used when I was doing these. And um, yeah. And it's it got a lot of ink all around the edge as well. Just a bit like, so it makes it a bit like a vignette photograph where you've got the clear in the middle and it's blurred around the edges. That's the sort of thing I was thinking. Right, hang on. Oh, I'm having it up there like that. And yeah, this lighter side is the side that the journal on. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a little idea. Yeah. And like that. Oh, oh, I can go up a little bit higher. Oh, maybe that's it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Just like that. Right. Yes, I'm really pleased with that. I think I'm going to leave that as it is now. And then this one. 
I might wear something in this corner. Mm. Right. Let's have a little rummage. I've got the right folder here. Right. Sheet music. Right. There's these lovely tones um, on the bottom of this one is really ONG and that but more over that way. Oh so look at that. Hmm. Right. Actually I might do it on this one because I don't want to take away I don't want to cover part of that tree. I definitely don't want to cover up mummy elephant there. You see a little baby elephant there? Right, so I'm gonna carefully with my tear ready up. Um, actually, before I do anything, I'll tear off the little bottom bit that I want. And pop that away. And then, right, I will get right to the very edge. And I've got it nice and flat. That's upside down. Nice and firm on there because I'm just tearing off the teeniest tiny bit. But as long as you open it firmly flat, it will just tear off a little bit for you. If you're not pressing down as hard as you can though, it can slip when it's just a sliver. But right. I'm going to rip off the bottom words that are there. I don't mind about the number. Uh, Right, and let's see. The down here like that, yeah. So I'm not covering that elephant's face. I know that one's getting covered up. I think that looks better than that. Yep. Yeah. Oh. And I don't want those. So I'll just go down the edge. And we'll see what that looks like. And then, yeah, maybe something on top of it. I really wish I had an elephant wax seal. <laughs> I ain't. I haven't been able to find one either. I have had a little look here and there, because that would have been perfect. Right, I'm going down here and I'm not up there. Yeah, I'll have it there. And then there was something. Oh, fancy something else. Um... Coming down and towards the edge like that. Yeah, maybe something down in this little corner. I'll see what I've got. Right, so I did think this little green flower, but there's a lot of green tone in that and it sort of gets lost. So I've got one of the peachy ones and I think that colour is better. I've got to deconstruct it now because... I haven't, this one wasn't already apart. And I think in the middle, I'm not going to try and peel that off, off there. I'm going to have a little gel. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Right. Uh, I've got one here yeah, around about the right size. i just got to peel that silly glue dot off. It was half hanging on, half hanging off. So I'm not to the floor. I'll just miss it. Just. Right. So, oh, oh, I couldn't get the lid off my glue. Oh, here we go. Right. Bit of glue there. I like that, how it is, and we've got a little bit of something, 
on the back there and then this one what we're going to attach it to it's got nothing on the back at the minute i could put another little tear off of the sheet music what's on the bit Got those lovely pinks going into greens, and I think oh that's why I'm not on the floor. It's my tear ruler because I put it over the over the other side where I don't normally have it. I just use it to just guide my tear in. And then I'm going to find a bit of fabric. I have separated some already into a lovely little box right by me that I've got a mug in it for my um, birthday. Um, little cup, a china cup. I don't like drinking hot drinks out of thick cups. I like a nice china cup. Um, and I've got two lovely cups for my birthday from my grandchildren so one's one of them big ones like that like that you'll have oh, well me I'd have like hot chocolate and things like that in it and then the other one is um taller and thinner that I'll drink my coffee out of and yeah absolutely gorgeous now I found these and they're little postmarks but um they're on squares for some reason even though they're round but i had a look and they fit my half inch circle punch it goes just around the edge so this one i'm just going to colour it in with the ink that's left on this little rubber and then on the other edge. Perfect. I think the only trouble I might have now is getting the sticky bit off the back with these nails on. Hang on. Oh, I see it's doing it. Mm, Fold that bit back that way. Yeah. Right. And I'll put a bit stronger glue on. See what way up we are. Yeah. And I'm going to have that back there like that. Right, okay, so, and I'm leaving this like this because it's so gorgeous. And then I'm going to join them at the top with some fabric. And then there's always lovely space to journal on. So, here's the box I was talking about. Oops! lid's coming off look 50 and more of amazing each day <laughs> and it lovely so i took out the bit that was holding the cup in place so i said to my daughter i've got to keep that i can't let that go it's too lovely so let's see i could use a bit of this nice blingy i've got this which is nice um use that and then something a little bit of the blingy just cut off a slice going in between oh i've got this gold to do that with let's think i might do that actually and then it's not nowhere near as bulky right so let's get the fluff off of it and pull this back down So I was thinking it'll be like that. And to put a bit of this. There you go. 
don't need much at all. Maybe cut about there. So these little ones will be all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I was off, not in frame. Then I was trying to hold it to me towards myself because my hands are a bit shaky today. Right. Um, I'm just picking at the end so that it's not such like a clean scissor cut, making it fray a little bit. And I'm happy with that. And then I thought a bit of this as well. Um, and I might make this a little bit longer and smush a little bit. Because <laughs> you know what I mean. If you've been with me for a little while, you know what I mean when I, I want to smush it. So, let's get that in the middle, get the other glue, and line it up nicely together. Right. Hmm. Oh. Don't worry about that, I can push it back to where I wanted it in one teeny tiny second. Just put that back on. Yeah, that's the right way up and about there. Right, and then with this one, I'm going to put some glue across there and then just, yeah, smush it a bit so that we've got, you can, it's like a bit ruffled and scrunched up. like that and then we'll put this bit a little bit smushy like that and then the rest once we've got them bits we can sort of manoeuvre into how we want it like that mm -hmm. and then that'd be like that and that'd be like that so that one come up a little bit higher just above the tree. Right, like that. I like it. And let's flip it over and I've got this bit like that. And I think what I want to do is put a gem there. Or a flat back bead of some sort or another. like that but that won't stand out because it's the same colour I'll get a little flower or something a little bit of something nice so I think all the flowers might be a bit too big mm -hmm. maybe cut one of them off and put that on there bringing out the blue of these elephants. I think that really does bring it out somewhat. Just cut down the join there. And cut down the join there. That's it, right. So yeah, on this side, that will look gorgeous and then the other side let's think um, I'm not going to go for a flower at all on the other side like this side I'm going to have a little rummage in a minute something completely different I just think this side that blue just brings out these elephants more 
it's like when some certain colours do that, don't they, to other colours? I know sometimes, just because of what I'm wearing, like my loved ones will say to me, like, Mum, your eyes look really green today. Um, do you know what I mean? Like that, or like Jamie will say, God, didn't your eyes burn? I've never realised they're that, that much. And then other days, they're not. They don't look it as much. And I, a lot of the time, I think it is the colours you're wearing and that, you know, that makes... Because I know it does when I'm working like this. There's certain colours that will bring out the best in other colours, you know, or bring them to life a little bit. But, yeah, we need something on here. I ain't got to be smushed in the middle. I could have another something, maybe another bit of fabric. How about a little bit of this? We just have, like, one one leaf, maybe. Well, we'll try one leaf. If you don't like it, I'll pop this aside for something else. Just, yeah, maybe the leaf being more on the orange and that. I don't know, one, no, I don't think one leaf works. I might just cut off another leaf because I want it going in directions that I can control. So if I just have two individual leaves and then I can maybe work it, I'll maybe come in this way, might be a plan. Kind of like that. Yep, I like that. Right, so we'll go on first with that one. And don't need a lot of glue. And I was coming down here when I maybe right to the end. And then this one, I can't remember whether I was coming on or going off, so it don't matter. I'll just make sure I'm getting my little thing back on there. And what way was I going? Like that, wouldn't it? And then I'll just trim the top off. Mm. Oh. Right. So we've got our double journaling card for a pocket. I like how that's come out really pleased with it right so i had another idea because while i was rummaging for different bits and bobs um i found in was it this stash hat wasn't it in this stash of bits and bobs i found like a thin tallish little bit of card nice peachy and I thought I could cut it down a little bit but cut it so it's sort of an outline maybe like quarter of an inch all around of these tags on each side um, and then they open up with all this journaling space inside so if I'm going to do that, pencil, I'll just mark, um, but we'll cut off that bit. So I'm marking a little bit above just where we need to cut. definitely did move it's on the wonk it's on the wonk oh, right that might be a bit too thin now i don't know because it moved if not there was another similar one but in ivory but i could always slim down oh no right that one's okay right what about this bad boy Yep, he's okay and all it fits. Right, yay! So, 
I need to punch their, no, I'll punch their holes once they're on. Just, I want to move around them gently, so. I just think these elephants are so beautiful. Um, and I think for his first kit, he has done really, really well. Better than I did with my first one. Because, <laughs> every five minutes, I was even messaging Amy or Tanya, like Crafty Cat and Tatty Treasures. <laughs> what about this? <laughs> oh no, what about that? Oh, I've made this bit better, but I've cut that bit off. What shall I do? <laughs> In the end, Tanya went, babe, leave it now. You've messed about enough. Leave it and I'm sure it'll be fine. And yeah, it was. People bought it or liked it and things. I was, um, I enjoyed working with it and that, you know. But yeah, it was, I found it hard the first time. So I, didn't, I knew what I wanted in my mind, but I didn't know how to get that onto paper, which I'm still a little bit like now, you know. I've only done a few kits, I haven't, like, compared to a lot of people, I've hardly done any, so I'm still learning, you know, there's still things that are in my brain that I think I've got to get them on a paper as a kit, but yeah, I'm still learning how, so, but we all do that, don't we, like, it's, um, we all learn as we go along, and it's fun to do that, so, right, um, oh, it's not sticky, I was worried about sticking my tag to there so yeah i love this little peach color of that bit of card that i found and it was already folded which was perfect and so i'm really glad that these fit on it and i didn't have to cut them about or go back to the um printer and resize them because how they are now it's brilliant i didn't have to and that's all a bit of um more palaver isn't it but yeah i love elephants and jamie does as well loves them as much as me this year because it was right i'm gonna have to tear that off and it's sticky because i was going to be 50 we was going to go to thailand this year um to chiang mai where there's an elephant sanctuary and you can help look after them and even though i'm disabled now um there is a package still like there she she rescues um elephants that are being used in the trade of carrying tourists and things like that all sorts of things and she rescues them just gives them a lovely life in the forest and where that she's got a lovely lake or river or something where they like to wash and um, congregate with their young and that we watched a program about it. it looked absolutely amazing and i was crying with how wonderful it was of what they'd done to save some of these poor elephants and um yeah we watched that and jamie said oh this was about two years ago we go there for your 50th but then yeah covid happened and um <laughs> we are in nowhere because there was loads of other things like we there was also another place where we wanted to go like for a um weekend break i forget where it was it was a city break in europe because we've been proud a few times in the czech republic and we absolutely fell in love with that um but there's a few other places um in other countries oh where was it i can't think now I might be in Budapest we wanted to go because we saw it that looked really lovely um because yeah with um Prague in the Czech Republic it wasn't bombed at all during the second world war um like not once so all of its really old architecture is all still there and really looked after well um and so we was going places like that had been built like in the 1400s or the 1300s it was amazing we both just fell in love with it but yeah there we saw somewhere that looked really similar with a lot of that old architecture but yeah like i said not been nowhere you know but it don't bother me as long as i'm i can be with the people i love and also communicate with the people i love like the really good mates that um 
I even knew before, all the good mates that I've made since I've been doing this. Like some people that will be in my life forever that are just such a lovely best friend to have. Or like a few best friends people to have. Because I don't really go out a lot anyway. Um, I really am a homebody. And yeah, so I've not got a great big circle of friends or nothing. Um, and because as well, I can't keep up with it. Like some people, fair play to them, can be on like social media loads and chatting to all every like all millions of people at the same time. And I lose track and get confused. <laughs> so I, I can't do that. Oh, oh. That's just my son going out. He'll be back. He'll be back in a minute. He's only popping to the shop. But um, right. I've got my eyelids in. Um, because if and then we can have some little bit of trim. I've got a bit of looks like ink or something just there. I don't know if it was already on it. Right. So ah, uh, I know. I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous eyelash trim, look at it, that I got from June. Hello babe, if you're watching, thank you so much. This is absolutely gorgeous, I love it. I've got eyelash trim that I had already. Not, not as soft and beautiful as this though. This is just really something special. So, just carefully cut myself a bit off. And right, it's so delicate, like you're like it's like holding nothing, it's like angel wings, like fairy. Do you know what I mean? Fairy hair. <laughs> oh, well, I imagine fairy's hair to feel like because it's just so soft, it's beautiful. But, um, yeah, I'm having trouble controlling it. I just want right, to make a little circle with the seam at the top that's it ready to put down onto a blob of glue let's get it all ready like that and then i can pop something in the middle like just that a bit like not too much oh right Oh, what have I done there? I can't get that on to stop the glue coming out. Right. Oh, I've moved it a tiny bit, which I didn't want to do. And move that bit round. Right. I might have to put another bit. Oh, right, where's my tweezers? Because I think that'll be easier just to pick that piece up with a tweezer, push it down onto where the glue, I've put the glue. That's better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Like that. Oh, stop pulling it about, silly woman I am. Right. Carefully come off. Right. And I want it sort of blowing that way a bit. Because I don't want to hide too much of the thing. I've got to have something in the middle. Um, and we're going to put our bit of trim at the top. Let's think what I want. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Look, coming out from the side. Right. Yeah, I could brush it over and then put my flower or whatnot on top. And let's see what I've got that's the right size. Flower. Oh, 
Oh, I have got the orangey colour. Yeah, yeah, we'll have that. And then something will have to go in the middle. Maybe another one of those gems that I used in the middle of the other one. Right, I'm just getting the back off and popping the middle out. Right, that's that. Right, so now, because I don't want to gunk up all the eyelash trim, I'll hold it upside down with the tweezers and just get some glue on my petals. Right, push that back on there. Maybe not, right, and pushing them that way, and then one, two, three, yep, like that. And then they're coming off to the side, I love that, I'll smush that up a tiny bit, that is beautiful. And I'm sure I have another, yeah, I've got another little gold thing that I think has it got a back on it I'll just have to check right so I've got my little gem I just had to remake a little um, what's it face glue um, top cling film top just until this glue runs out there's not much more left now I think this video will be the last time that this little glue makes an appearance well this big glue i've got little ones in there so oh, i think i'm out am i no there it comes right oh where's my little lid i made oh here it is being careful not to crush it which is what i've done just now which is why i had to quickly make another one because i just squeezed it and it stuck to itself right one, two, there we are, right, oh isn't that beautiful, I love that trim, oh June if you're watching, thank you so much, it's so, it feels like nothing, but it looks amazing, absolutely amazing, I love it, right, and I think for that one, a lovely orange wasabi silk, which, let's see the width, Right, I think I'm going to cut it up the middle and use that for both sides. I've set my eyelids and I can yeah. Right, uh -huh. so that's that one. Paint that through. And just gently hold that out the way. That's it. Right. Get them level. Mm. Uh. Oh, sorry. I'm just fiddling about trying to get that one through. Uh, pull that. That's it. And that's it, they're lovely, and I'll just give that a little tiny trim at the top. One and two, perfect. And then on this side, what am I going to have on here? I've got that nice pattern going across, could have something little down in the corner, or I could have something hanging off me um, thing dangling in the middle of there. I think I'm going to do that. So, I've, I might have something on this tray already. I don't want it to be too much. I could use one of those coins because that'd still be quite flat. And I've got this lovely little gem on there. But, yeah, I think I need something that's going to be quite flat. So, I've just got to thread all this, which I'm going to have to pull it towards myself. So, I'll just pause while I'm threading through this. Right, right. we're through. 
I could put it on a jump ring, couldn't I? But um, I just thought I'll have it as it is on the thing. Right, sorry, my son was just coming in and now he's quickly popped back out again. This is a different son to the other one because he's come in and thought, oh, I need something from the corner shop and we, we live next door. So <laughs> I said to him, he's freezing cold. He's just got off his dad's motorbike. I said, run there now while you're still cold if you do want something rather than warm up. Get all nice and toasty and then have to go out into the freezing cold weather. Right, I'm really happy with how that's come out. All I want to do now, which I should have done before, I did ink around to the edges, but I just wanted that crease more. Um, I should have done this before I've done anything else, but I did ink around so I forgot about the inside because I was busy doing the outside. Right, yep, yeah, I like that. And like that and that. So I'm going to pop them into my little box with all the rest because I'm getting to the point now where I'm, I've got to make the cover and sew the signatures in. And then we'll see where we are and what else we need to do. But I've, I love these little bits and bobs. He's probably my favourite. But then I love the mummy and the baby standing under that lovely tree that great big african tree it's just beautiful so yeah i'll link his shop and this kit down below and um even if you're not thinking of buying nothing go and give him a little bit of support a little bit of love favorite it or something do you know what i mean just give him a little bit of um positive encouragement because i think he's sold two or, or one you know and he's like oh no one liked it and i said they probably did i said but people um do like seasonal ones like with kits uh, with um journals rather at the moment a lot of people might be working on their halloween or their fall or their christmas even if they're like that organized um so I said to him, it's not like, it could just be the time of year, don't lose heart, you know. So, yeah, if you can, go and give him a little bit of love, because he does deserve it. It's a beautiful kit. And I'll be back with something else, using the rest of the stuff and that, really soon. So, thank you very much for watching and for joining me. Again, thank you for your lovely wishes, like I said earlier. It um, means the world, means the flipping world to me, you know, so, yeah, thanks a lot, love you all loads, see you soon lovelies, bye for now, bye.